Well, good morning, everybody. It is first day of autumn, and, well, we're cutting it a little bit short on the good morning, I guess, considering that it's 20 minutes to 11. Um, we have been busy on the farm these uh, past month. Um, as you can see, we did some landscaping. We cleaned all the weeds out of here because those were really bothering me. We cleaned up all the weeds. We, uh, we leased this flail here. And we cut all this grass over here. And we cut the grass over here too. We missed some spots, but I'm not too worried about it. I just wanted to clean it up a little bit. Um, also, we took all the weeds out of here as well. So I just think this looks so much better now. Like I say, I do not like weeds on the property, and we also cleaned out one more area um, over by the cows, I believe. Yeah, this area right here. So we found this kind of rubble pile underneath all those weeds. Not much I can do about that, but the farm's looking a lot better. A lot better, I think. Now... Um, since the last time I seen you guys, since the last time we did a video, I actually sold my hay bales over here. Um, we actually had a local farmer stop by, Farmer Meyer, and he was in desperate need of some hay bales, so we sold him all those hay bales, and I don't know, we got probably a couple thousand from that. I think he gave us around 350 per bale. So, uh, yeah, we did pretty good. So let's just stop in the Mahindra here. The Mahindra here. Good lord. Will I ever learn how to speak? Probably not. Oh! Yeah, another thing we did, guys. <laughs> we finally leveled this out. Look at that. We don't have that big speed bump anymore on this track, so... That's another thing we did. So yeah, we were pretty busy. So I thought I would just check our fields. And oh yeah. These are ready to harvest. These are definitely ready to harvest now. Now even though I am very eager <laughs> to get the harvesting underway, I may hold off until... They're a little more uh, ready to go. They are in the early stages right now, which is completely fine. They are, they're very harvestable right now. But, uh, I don't know. I may wait to another stage. I may not. It's been a long time since I've ran a harvester, and harvesting is actually one of my favorite jobs to do on the farm. But what we're going to do first is we're going to check our canola field. And I have to remember that I am not in America, so... <laughs> Drive on the other side of the road here. See, so yeah, I can't believe how much better this farm is doing than uh, the one we had in France. And like I say, it's not like we were losing money in France, but... We weren't really doing any farming either, and... You know, that's uh, kind of what I wanted to do was farming. Oh, yeah. This is ready as well. Perfect. I mean... I am tempted to get the harvester out today <laughs> and start this. But, uh, I don't know. We do have to take care of the animals. That is something that we definitely have to do. Um, the chickens actually need to be fed. Which is crazy because, man, they do not eat a lot at all. Um, that's why I said, even though they're not producing a ton of eggs at the moment, um, I'm really not losing any money off them because they don't eat hardly anything.
and eventually I'm pretty sure they'll uh, they'll start making eggs a lot better once we get more chickens once they start breeding uh, we should be doing much better so let's level up the gate and take a look and for some reason they don't make a mess at all so I don't know what that's about but two boxes of eggs so we're not doing too bad I should probably get a pallet to put them on but yeah we'll have to get in here and we'll have to feed these guys um skid steer with the pallet fork that is going to be hmm I really need to okay there's a skid steer right there that's definitely not the pallet fork so now it's gonna be a hunt for a pallet fork unfortunately um, you know maybe it's over there come to think of it Let me, uh yeah oh my god it is it's right there We'll just drop that. Grab our pallet fork. Feed these chickens real quick. And then we'll focus our attention to our sheep. Now, our money is pretty low, I would say. We do have quite a bit of wool that we could sell. And look at that. That chicken's... <laughs> Right up in the feed bag. I mean, guy, you do have feed in the trough. Well, that's... That is my fault for leaving the feed in here like this, so... There you go, buddy. As you can see, uh, they just, they don't eat that much at all. Again, I don't have a ton of chickens. So that's, uh, that's probably the reason. But still. Have fun. <laughs> ah, changing color sheep. <laughs> okay, so we'll drop the pallet fork off there where I'll surely forget where it is. You know what? I just had the belt. You know what? Let's just clean them up. And... Put the food back in the trough. And then we'll just give them some, uh... Some loose hay today. I'm not going to keep going back and forth. There's only 19 liters in there, so they'll definitely take more than that. Not sure how much more, but... Dump that back in there. And we'll go get a shovel full. Uh, I can actually say these sheep aren't eating as much either, but they are eating the grass in the enclosure so I know they're not going to take all of this definitely not
but we will top it off for them. Keep them nice and healthy. I'm expecting quite a bit out of these sheep in the next year. Um, come spring, I'm sure they're going to... produce a lot of wool for us and hopefully a lot of new sheep as well oh. there we go. that's not when it stops filling up it starts going on the ground it is full so we don't want to waste that so we'll scoop that back up and put that back in the uh, shed over there so yeah, I'm thinking that we have way too much <laughs> uh, loose straw in there. This, but it'll definitely keep us going through the winter. We should have. Oh, hey now. Uh, we shouldn't have any issues getting through the winter with these sheep. Which again, I have no idea how the winters are in this area. The winters in France were very mild. I think it only snowed maybe once. And that was like on Super Bowl Sunday. So, uh, I hope it's a little more snowy here. Uh, where I come from in New York, we get tons of snow. So, uh, yeah, I've kind of been missing it. Also, I think I may trade this in for a different truck. I don't know. I mean, they fixed it in the accident, but it just hasn't been feeling right to me yeah that's something that we may do so now what I think I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to get everything ready for our harvest so we will start up the harvester I think we'll bring that over to the field now I don't know how hot, I don't know how wide the header is. That's a pretty decent size one, I guess. I don't think that'll fit to the gate. Um, I think I may just bring the header down with the pickup truck, actually. Haha, <laughs> we are rolling. I'm. Really excited about this, guys. Finally getting to do some harvesting. It's been way too long. Way too long. Since we've harvested any crops. Oh, I should mention that uh, the crops that we have in the silo, I did manage to get a hold of Regis. And he said, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. We can have those crops. If uh, he really was concerned about them, he would have taken them out of there. So, good to know. On that front, uh, I have also spoken to Jean recently. He's doing good. He's thinking about moving to a different area. So hopefully everything works out for him. So I don't know if that header will fit through here. Or if I'll have to... Hmm. Let's see. I don't want to put it somewhere where I'm going to hurt the crops. So yeah, let's... Uh, let's back this up. Grab the header and bring the header down. And then we'll see... If we could fit that header through there. Oh, okay, so it's definitely not going to fit through there. Um, hmm. Like I say, I need to put this somewhere, though, where I'm not going to hurt the crops. So 
so possibly hmm, maybe down at the other entrance is what I'm thinking say so we do not want to ruin any of these crops I'd like to get every bit of them that I can I mean I guess if worse comes to worse and we run over them a little bit it's not going to be the end of the world but ah okay so what I think I'll do is I'll park this right here for now I'll go back and I'll grab the harvester. We'll hook onto it and then we'll just move the truck. Alright, here we are. So, I'm going to hook onto the header. Back up and try not to get hit. Because. <laughs> People around here are very dangerous. Let me just hop out. A little squeeze past there. Pull this out of the way. I think I'll leave it along here. So we're kind of close to that field. So I think that'll work out beautifully. All right, back to the harvester. Man, I can't believe we're finally going to get to harvest. Very cool. It's the first harvest of the season. First harvest at the new farm. And the first harvest with our Massey Ferguson harvester. start down at this corner though all right let's open her up and here we go <laughs> about done harvesting our first field I gotta say it's a uh, it was a pretty big job um, this harvester it works great uh, the only problem is it's got a very small grain bin on it um, it doesn't hold much so there was a lot of going back and forth offloading <clears throat> luckily the trailer that we have over there is quite big it holds a lot so um, I didn't have to go back and forth to the silo too much. And that <laughs> is our rye field all done. Perfect. And that ended quite nicely because we almost got another full thing of, uh, of rye out of that. Now, I think I'll probably do that field over there tomorrow. 
it's uh, like going on seven o'clock and I really don't want to start it at night or uh, start it and have to finish it I'd like to get it all done in one day uh, I may think about hiring that kid man I can't think of his name I can't even think of his father's name actually uh, I haven't seen them in a while of course they've been busy on their farm so I haven't really spoke to them much but uh yeah, I may have to look him up. I mean, I have it written down in the house, but I think I'm going to look him up and see if he wants to pick up a few extra bucks. Maybe he can uh, run the harvester for me, and I will cart the green. I think that would be the best thing to do. So let's fold this up. Shut the harvester off here, and uh, let's just take a run down the field, and I'll show you guys what I did. So I I swathed most of this up because, as I said, uh, everything for a reason, and we're going to be getting cows, and we're going to be needing straw for bedding. So I figured this will be a good start. Now, all of this here, I didn't swath for the simple reason: this part of the field uh, is kind of difficult with these power lines, so I decided not to, and quite honestly, with that part of the field there and what we have, I'm thinking that we're going to have a pretty good, pretty good amount of bales from this, this is, uh, there's a lot here, make no mistake about it, it's, uh, it really is a lot of straw. Now, these fields may not be as large as some of the fields that we have back in America, but once you start working them, especially with the uh, the equipment that we have, you find that they're quite big. I mean, this took me the better part of a day to harvest, so... But yeah, the Massey worked fantastic. Did a great job. So all I really need to do is offload this. Now, once I get that other field harvested, uh, the question is, what are my plans after that? Uh, of course, we're going to have to start setting up for winter. And again, I have no idea what kind of winter they have here. I don't know if it'll be mild. I don't know if they get snow even. So, uh... We'll definitely have to check that out. And let me hop out quick and let me check our silage here, see how it's coming along. Okay, so we're at about 70% with the silage. So that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I got a good feeling that we're going to be making a decent profit off that silage. I hope so, at least. Now, the one thing about the farm I will say that I'm not too crazy about is where we have to fill the silo from. We have to kind of pull up here. And we have to back it in. It's a little blind, I'm not going to lie. But, it's doable. It's that corner over there that always gets me. It looks like... Yeah, it definitely does look like I'm getting too close to that. Let's just pull up a bit. got to get the angle right. I don't have a lot left in here. But, uh... Got to get rid of it. Got to get rid of it. We got to get ready for the canola tomorrow. So, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up over here. And I am going to try to hose this out a little bit. Let me see if I can open this up so I can hose it out. can't open it up so maybe I can climb up there there we go there we go I just Clean it out a little bit. Get all that rye residue out of there. There we go, perfect. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to bring this back over to the field, guys. And I shall see you tomorrow where we will begin our canola fields. And then after that, um, the next episode, I believe what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to plant cover crops in both of our fields. And then we'll start batting down the hatches for the winter. Alright, morning everyone. So, uh... I realized that when I left you guys last, when I was talking about what we're going to do, um, one of the big things I left out was we have to bail up that, uh, that straw. <laughs> so that is the job that we have to do as well. Now, I'm not going to, I don't think you can make, uh, canola in the straw anyway, but even if that was a field of wheat or something, uh, I wouldn't be bailing that up. We definitely have enough in this field to get enough bales out of. So, we got about just a little over 86,000 liters of rye out of this field. So, I think that is pretty good. Um, I was looking at the prices online and it seems like rye doesn't doesn't change in their price too much. It never really goes high or low. It pretty much stays what it is. So, uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be... Um, an insanely profitable crop, but uh, it is what it is. So, we just parked the Mahindra there. Uh, stretched out a little bit. And it is time to get back to work.
the rest of this field here. We just had this a little bit, too. This field went a lot quicker than uh, the field over there. And I believe that canola seed is probably finer than the rice seed, I'm going to have to say, because I didn't get anywhere near the yield out of this field that I got out of the rye. Now, granted, this field isn't as big as that field, but still, it seems like I got uh, significantly less. Now, with that being said, um, I wasn't even thinking, but there's actually several options that I have. Uh, I could plant a winter crop. Um, I could plant some winter wheat or winter barley. And honestly, I'm really thinking of doing that because you know how I like to be self-sufficient. Um, and I have food for the sheep. But as of right now, I'm relying on bagged food for my chickens. So uh, I could possibly plant that and then just get the chickens through this winter. And then next year, we would be feeding them off our own crops. And uh, honestly, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I, I like that option the best. Now, I don't think I need to plant both these fields. I'm going to say. Um, and if you look towards right there, towards the end, we did have some crops fail. So that's always a, uh, that's always a risk you take. But uh, overall, with these two fields, if those are the only crops that didn't make it, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. So again, as I said before, I need to bail up the field over there. And another issue that I have is that the baler that I'm leasing is round bales. I may send that back to the store and I may lease a square baler because I don't think I want those as round bales. Square bales would be much easier to uh, handle and store for the winter, I think. So yeah, I think with that being said, uh, this is where... We're going to end this one, guys. We still have a lot to do. Uh, like I say, in the next video, you'll see me bail that up and possibly take care of one of these fields. Uh, the way it's been going, um, it seems like I have planned to do so much in a day. But, uh... The jobs just take a little longer than, for some reason, uh, I expect. But I do expect that to be quite a big job. There's, there's a lot of straw left on that field. So we haven't even filled this trailer yet. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will see you next time.